Last episode, we spent a ridiculous amount of time cramming 256 sheep into tiny one by one cubes so we can farm them for their wool. And all of this was so we can create some giant map art to really bring some life to our construction sites. And to be honest, I think it really worked. I absolutely love this area. One thing I don't love, however, is this bit over here because it's not finished. We've still got a huge amount of work to do on the outside of the building. And of course, we need to sort out the interior down here as well. So I do have a plan for this outside bit here. And I think the first thing we're going to do is just crack on and get that done because once this bit's in hopefully that's going to help me design the interior a little bit easier so to get this done i'm going to need a bunch of orange wool some end rods and a bunch of smooth quartz and a little bit of glass for the windows just to get started that's the glass in let's create an entrance down here shall we i think just some stairs like that and maybe raised up and i think we're going to sink this back a little bit further here as well so maybe let's bring the entrance back a little bit here actually i think i might make this a little bit wider there we go something like that for the doors i think works quite nicely but let's see if we can shape these windows a bit better shall we so maybe take out these bits here and get some leaves in down the front with a few of these signs i think that's working okay at least for now we might switch that up in a little bit but i think we do want to get a splash of orange down here and to be honest i think i'm going to replace that gray bit there with some orange wool as well in fact let's get this bit replaced now and get some color on the front here and we'll stick some end rods in that first bit there as well wow that is bright we'll see how we get on with the orange but we might change that to some acacia just because it's a little bit duller but we'll see it will get broken up once we get the shop name in of course but we'll come back to that shortly for now i think i want to do some blinds so at the top here you can see we've got these blinds as if all the individual apartment owners have sort of lowered them to different levels and so on. And I want to kind of carry that on down here as well. However, the color theme down here is a bit different. We're actually using orange. We're going to be using acacia. So I'm going to see if we can do the same thing down here with these. And hopefully that'll look quite good. In fact, we might need to get some kind of a canopy over these windows as well. All right, I think that's looking quite good. And once we get some window displays in as well, that's really going to tie it together. However, I do need to sort out this separator line here. That's really bugging me and I think I've got an idea for that so we're gonna add some quartz stairs along this bit here some slabs on top oh yes that works a treat marvelous so now we need to add some lettering of some kind so what shall we do here ha. love it I think that's gonna work nicely okay so definitely nothing to do with uh, any brand that may or may not be in existence this is completely unique and original however I think what I'm gonna do is actually move this door back a little bit because I think we can make a nicer entrance if we maybe made it just a tad bigger here yeah there we go that's much better i much prefer that and i think i may also want to separate out the window display areas here so we can give them sort of their own backgrounds their own little themes in the windows i think that could work quite nicely however i think that means i'm going to, need to go get myself a little bit more cyan terracotta because i'm basically out of the stuff now but yes i think self-contained window boxes like that instead of just looking directly into the shop is going to work a bit better for us and look a little bit more fancy which is kind of what we're going for here i guess yep i think blocking off those windows was definitely the right call that looks really good and when we get some window displays in there as well that's really going to bring it to life however we still have a whole bunch of things we want to do on the outside here we need to get some flowers and foliage and stuff in the front of these and of course we need to finish off the front here as well. I think we need some lighting out here. Well, I am being incredibly indecisive. I've tried a bunch of different things here to see what works. And I think in terms of actually holding things on, I think the uh, acacia here, that's what it's called. I think the acacia fences work better than the levers because the levers are kind of clashing with the top of the canopies there. I don't think the end rods here particularly work. I, they, they just, I don't know, they just don't feel right for me. So I don't think I'm going to go with that. And hanging pots, do I like these or do I like these? I'm not entirely sure i think i think i might go with these pots here just because the pot color there is still kind of in theme with the acacia but doesn't clash with the bottom bushes like this one here does so well i guess i've talked myself into a decision there haven't i so let's get rid of this and these other ones we're not going to be using but i think what we'll do is we'll put the flower pot ones in between the windows and then we'll have lights on the outside ones i think that's going to work best for us I think I might actually raise these middle ones here up a little bit higher as well. Oh, yes, that really works. I really do like that. Okay, cool. So the next thing I want to do is actually sort out the path out the front here. I know we still, of course, need to do the windows and all the bits in there, which we will get to. But this path here just feels a little bit too thin. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe put a little bit of a kink in the road there and just bring this path out another couple of blocks. <laughs> The road 
reshaped, and I think that gives us much more space on the path here, which is obviously a lot nicer. And I've put in a few little details. I've started adding in some street lamps. I think this is the kind of style we're going to use in this area. And the best thing is they do actually have a daylight sensor on top there, so they will actually come on at night as well. So I think for now, we're pretty much done on the ground floor of the building here as well. We will get some vehicles on this road soon too, but we won't worry about that just now. For now... I think I do actually want to sort out the rest of the building because, yes, we've only sorted out the ground floor here. And that means I need, well, I need some glass to fill in that hole there for a start. But what I also need to do is get some foliage. I need a selection of flowers and bushes and leaves and things like that that I can apply to the outside of this building. And the good news is 1.20 is now out and I have just updated my world. And you'll be pleased to know we have a lovely cherry blossom biome not too far from our village. You know that random village that was built and had absolutely zero purpose whatsoever? Well, now this village's purpose is to act as the gateway to the cherry blossom biome. Look at this. This thing is absolutely massive. But the best thing is we get to take lots and lots of the flowers and things. We get to use the leaves. And, of course, we get to use the wood. But look at the size of this thing. It's massive. And it has a really nice coastline here, too. Hmm. Anyway, we're not here to get distracted. We're just here to steal some wood and some saplings and some of these pretty, pretty flowers on the floor. We've got some leaves, some saplings, and a bunch of the floor flowers. So let's see what else we can get. I believe there's actually a flower biome over this way somewhere. There's a bit of a meadow here, actually. Let's grab a few of these. I've now got a huge selection of plants and foliage items that I can use in these window boxes, but I'm going to make sure I don't go too crazy. I don't want to put something on every space. I don't want them to look too overcrowded. So let's just scatter some about, and hopefully we can get the balance right to make this look good, but not like a flower shop in its own right. And thinking about it, something else I might do is quickly grab myself a little bit of clay and make some plant pots, and maybe even some of those new ones that have been added in 120, because I think they could look quite cool on some of the windowsills up there. I think to make these big clay pots we do... Oh, it's right there. It is just that. Okay, fantastic. So should we get a few of those? They Oh, they don't stack. Well, that's awkward. Let's just take a couple for now and see how they look, because it might look rubbish anyway. So I think if we do that and then stick a plant pot on top, we can then stick something in it. Uh, what should we go with? Let's go with the cherry blossom. So there's a bit of a problem in that the flower pots render in, but the big pots don't. So I guess we won't be using those on there. That's a shame. So for now, we'll just stick with the occasional small flower pot. That's not a problem. There we go. I don't think it needs much more than that. And if we just quickly jump into free cam and have a look. Yeah, I think that works nicely. And what we'll do while we're here is actually just put in a few flowers and things in these little flower beds there we go just like that adds a little bit of color out the front here as well and i think that means we're done on the front at least for now no we've got a hole in the window there we go that's better the window is fixed so as i was about to say i think we're actually done out the front here now for the front of the building but we still need to work out the sides i potentially want to put in some more windows on this side here as well and we do have one major problem in that we can't actually get upstairs at the moment there's, there's not actually a way to get up there either through this floor here or even the little hidden bit out the back but i think what i might do if we punch a hole somewhere around here what i think we might do is actually make a doorway on this corner and have that so it sort of goes up into the farm above because we should be able to sneak around i think you know maybe if we put a stairway that sort of spirals up then at least we can get up there possibly even put in a little corridor around the side but either way we need to get up there one way or another, and I think this is going to be the best way to do it. But that does mean I need to move all this stuff first, because this is just in the way. I've now solved the access to upstairs problem. We've just got a small doorway here, and this will give us access to the back of the sorting areas there. And if we go up here, it will give us access to the top level of the sorting areas. So this is just for access to the back of the farm. However, what I've also done is sorted out access via the front, so you can actually get up to the top where the actual sheep live, I guess. So I've changed the entrance here slightly. We're just going to have a small display window there and i've blocked off these walls on the back and this bit here is actually going to be where we can throw the shears to actually refill the farm but what i've done is i've added in some stairs around here and if we walk around here still needs a bit of decoration but you can see what we're going for i guess we've got kind of a couple of little display areas there but this gives us access to the top area and i've also cut out a load of windows on the side of the building so if we fly away and have a look at that you can see it just gives a little bit more detail in this area here and that brings me on to our next task. I do actually need to get the rest of the outside of the building finished. So that's pretty much just getting these windows in. And of course, sorting the roof area. And maybe even getting one or two air conditioning units on the outside of the building here too. Short while 
while later and the exterior of the building is complete. I've left this wall blank, of course, because it will be having a neighbor at some point. So it's pointless putting any detail on there. However, on the roof and on this side, I've kept it light. I just wanted to add a little bit, but not too much. However, there's a big old space there. So we might add a billboard or something in future. But for now, I think what we need to do is actually start sorting out the interior here. This is supposed to be a clothes shop. And currently, it just looks like a warehouse. So I've got a bit of an idea here of something I want to try out for this clothes shop, and I have no idea if it's going to work or not. However, these things here kind of look a little bit like drawers, and I think I want to take advantage of that. So let's get some of these on the front here. We're going to have to think of something to do for lighting in here as well. I haven't actually solved that one yet. And then we'll just fill in this back bit here with some oak planks for now. Actually, I've got a better idea. I think I know how I can sneak some lighting in here. So if we maybe grab those and I'm going to need some kind of lights. Thankfully, we have all the shroom lights over here. So let's just grab a bunch of these. And my thinking is if we stick a whole load of these down the back here, in fact, I'm actually going to lower them down a block. And then that way I can just use trap doors at the back here. Okay, perfect. That's well lit up now. Look at that. Beautiful. So what I'm hoping I can do, I don't know if this is going to work, but I want to make something that looks a little bit like sort of clothes racks. So we want some stuff hanging up. Let's grab some banners here. I've got some already prepped. But hopefully if we just sort of stack these on top of each other like that and kind of create a wall along here that should look quite good maybe potentially let's get this wall finished and see what it looks like well i think it's a good start but we've got a long way to go before this looks anything like a clothes shop so i think the next thing i want to do is maybe work out some sort of central table type things that we can maybe put some armor stands on potentially have sort of frames with some clothes in or something like that i don't know let's have a look so this is the stand design i decided to go with we've got beehives on the bottom just with some frames and some banners to indicate the kind of color that this stand is all about and of course an armor stand in the middle and we do have a light underneath that trapdoor too but as usual i also got a bit carried away and i've completed the rest of the store as well but it's just a combination of these stands here and the ones we did at the start the last thing I actually need to do is to put in the bubble vator here for the shears and maybe get a little bit more leather to fill up the rest of these frames and some of these armor stands that just don't have bits on them. I've also sorted out the window display here, although once again, I still need a little bit more leather. And I've had a little play around with the window displays out the front. And although they look cool, I think we can actually make them look a little bit cooler because, well, this is 120 after all. And yes, I've had to turn off my invisible armor pack as well, which is a shame because I, I, I don't like being seen with armor. But for this store to work, really kind of can't have that pack on, can we? But we have updated this world and that means we can make really fancy armors as well if we get ourselves some armor trims. And from what I understand, there's 16 or so different armor trims and you can get them from lots and lots of different places in the world. And we're going to go for a search and just grab some of the easier ones for now, I think. Eventually, of course, we do want to get them all but for now i just want a couple to mix up some of this storefront because i think that's going to be the finishing touch it needs but to be honest i think it's looking pretty good already so before we embark on our search we're just going to head back to storage and grab a few bits and bobs we're probably going to need and one of those things is the archaeology brush which i have no idea how to make a stick a piece of copper and a feather well that should be easy enough and there we go one archaeology brush and we're going to stick unbreaking on that as well, because that just seems like a good idea. Now we have a glowing brush. Marvellous. I'm also going to need a bed. Maybe a few shulkers. Who knows? In fact, we'll just store them in the ender chest and we'll take this with us. Make sure we've got a good stock of rockets. And we'll also take some obsidian and a flint and steel, because it has occurred to me, if we have a look at our map, we have loaded in a huge area of this world. And we're going to have to go outside this area if we actually want to find some of this stuff. So I think what I might do is just fly a thousand blocks or so in the nether, create a new portal, and hope for the best. But at least that way we'll be in fresh new chunks. Right, let's see what we get. Oh, darkness in a spruce forest. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> right next to a pillager tower. Amazing. Uh, let's quickly go to bed first. So this could well be a fruitful start for us. I believe the one we can get from here is Sentry. Let's have a little look, shall we? Hopefully we get one straight off the bat. That would be nice, won't it? Oh, no. Oh, no, we do. We do. Look at that. Oh, we actually got two of them. I can't believe that. Literally first box, random portal. That's amazing. Doesn't seem to be any pillagers around it. Oh, no, there they are. They're all down there. Hey, fellas. Yeah, sorry, I've already stolen your loot. Thank you. So I think what we want to be looking for are shipwrecks, and there seems to be one there in the ice. So let's have a look over there. And no, we do have a treasure map, though. Okay, so Captain's Cabin, I think, would be over this way, in fact. Um, and I don't think we've got one. 
No, we seem to be missing the back of the boat here. So, no joy on that one. Oh, well. Onwards. Here's another shipwreck. Let's have a look in here. Nope. And another treasure map, but no trim. Right, so for the easy ones, we want to be searching for deserts and jungles, I believe. And, and the shipwreck, of course, because the coastal tide one, whatever it is, that should be fairly easy as well. Oh, hello. This place is worth exploring as well, I believe. Is there any suspicious gravel? This looks suspicious. Is that, is that a piece of coal? That is not what we're after. Oh, looks like we've got a shirt. Oh, and another one. That was fairly successful. We managed to get six sherds altogether from that little temple. Although I swear, now I know that suspicious gravel exists. Every single piece of gravel looks suspicious. Let's check out this shipwreck. Our survey says... Nope. Ah, I'll take the diamond. We decided we're going to stop digging those because we're just getting sherds from them and you can't actually get armor trims and that's what we're after at the moment. So let's focus on finding some trail ruins or something else we need. We need, we need a desert. That would be nice. Oh, look, a cherry blossom. <laughs> finally made it back to our clothes shop that was quite the journey but we have managed to get that is the wrong box there we go but we have managed to get lots and lots of shirts which wasn't even what we were going for but i just couldn't help myself that archaeology thing very addictive but we've also managed to get a bunch of these armor trims which i believe we can duplicate if we mix diamonds and certain other blocks with them we did also manage to get two sniffer eggs as well but we'll save those for a future episode for now let's head back to main storage i guess and see if we can duplicate some of these up and actually make some fancy armor sets i think i have everything we're going to need in order to duplicate these templates so for each one what we actually actually need is a number of diamonds and then a block of one type or another depending on what the actual template is and I think I have everything that we're going to need so first thing I want to do is actually make sure I have at least five of every single one of these templates so for example the shaper armor trim here takes a terracotta and seven diamonds and then we'll get an additional one and as I said we do actually want quite a few of these so let's make sure we've got a bunch there we go so we now have nine of each template and what I want to do is make sure I keep one of these off to the side so I don't use it and that means we can make two sets of each of the other armors and that's what all this lovely leather is for and now we move on to the this box let's choose some colors shall we i think that's a nice selection of colors to be starting with so now to do some trims and for that we're going to need all these things as well because we're going to want to experiment with all the different colors so these items here are all of the different variations of things you can use to add a trim to the armor apart from netherite because i'm not netherite rich so we won't be doing that let's try coasts let's go with this one and i think it gives us a preview doesn't it okay so that's copper that's purple okay so it seems to be this sort of thin band that's going around the side let's maybe try with the top first this might look a bit better oh i quite like the gold i think the gold and the blue looks good yeah let's go with this first set of armor is the blue coast armor let's have a look oh that actually looks well cool i really like that let's make more Well, I had enough leather to build up two sets of armor, and I've got about a stack of leather left, but that's not enough to make that many more sets, so I think I'm going to stop there, and that's probably more than enough for our displays anyway, and these are looking amazing. They're really going to add to the store, and in particular, I really like this color combo. I think that works really well, and strangely enough, the other blue one as well with the diamond. Oh, that just looks lovely. Let's go get these in some window displays, shall we? Well, I have to say that was definitely worth the effort. Look at these windows now. They look so cool. These are amazing although what this does tell me is that i need to get some more because we don't quite have enough to fill all of the windows but it just oh it brings so much life to it i love it i also want to do some of those in here as well and it'd be good to get some around the rest of the shop but as i say the problem is i don't really have that many diamonds uh i suppose at least i do have the armor now because of all the stuff i've just taken down 
But yeah, I, I need a lot more diamonds in order to duplicate more armor trims. So I guess that's going to have to wait till next episode. But I hope you have enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now. I'm in love with this shop.